Good afternoon, everybody. Here we go. Uh, number 394. We're not far off from 400 now. But let's just uh, spend a little bit of time this afternoon and enjoy this one. I'm going to keep it quite calm today because uh, after the weekend, I've lost my voice a little bit. So don't want to overdo it. What have I done here then? Okay, so I've got myself a tile. I've added a little bit of ink and then I've um, dropped a little bit of water on it. It's nothing crazy. Uh, don't have to. You can uh, keep with a plain tile if you want to. I've not done one of these in ages, so I thought it would be nice to do that today. So, okay, if we're ready. Now, I'm going to start sort of mm, here-ish. So not in the middle, slightly up. But if you want to do it this side, you can do it that way. It's absolutely fine. But uh, let's get that bubble in first. Okay, happy with that. There you go. First job done. So being that I'm happy with that, I might as well come on in and draw that with a pen. Sometimes it's nice to put pencil first, isn't it? Because then you get an idea of the size of it and as you work your way around, you get a better shape. There we go. Okay, job done there. So I'm going to start on the edge and I'm going to create a bit of a swirl. In there. Okay, a little bobble on the end. Okay, so I'm just going to see this line that's come around here. I'm going to join it to there. And then let's have a look at this one. I'm going to join it to there. This has got a little bit, of, maybe this one over here as well, to there. Just all sort of mixing into each other there. That's fine. Okay, so back to pencil for a moment. And I'm going to create a curl. Now, I'm going to go this way. But if you want to go that way, that's fine too. It doesn't matter. So I start at about 3 o'clock position. You see him coming around, not too wide. And then as I work my way around again, look, not too wide. Then I'm going to come along. And down here. Quite a long sort of piece there, but that's fine. And then here, look, let's give it a line. Okay, happy with that? That's fine. Look at it, we could curve that a bit more, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to come back here as well now. I'm going to sort of come from the same point. Let's go a bit bigger. So from there, you see, and I'm going to come back round, taking my time. And we create another one. See that one? Let's curve that a little bit there. So that gives us two rows. And then one more. And along we go. Now if it goes off the end, it doesn't matter. It might be just gonna kind of touch as it works its way around there. But I want to go quite wide there. So let's have a little look at that. There we are. So I'm going to put those back in now, but I'm going to use pen. So, you know, I can do a nice sort of curved shape there. Let's do this one as well while I'm here. So I might as well feel like I get a better curve when I'm uh, on a bit of a roll like that. I can always rub out those pencil lines after. See, then this one's coming in from there. Up there. Okay. So, so around and into that one. And around there. You see how we can just sort of put that in? Oh, thank you, Maureen. It was a lovely board. Do you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, I've got a spare now. It's a uh, Sometimes I know it can be a little bit scary starting on wood. So when we were in class this weekend, we thought, well, let's give it a go. All right. And to that one. Okay, so I've got that kind of a swirl there. So, okay, let's have a look then first at this inside one. So being that it's a curve, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put 
curves in like that you see all falling round little curves so if you need to you can work around and uh, move it as you're going and have these little shapes in see they're getting you know a little bit bigger as I go round but I'm giving it a little bit more space in between as well Straightforward enough, aren't they? Those one on the end. Uh, more, uh, I do sell tangle boards in the shop, but I hadn't really thought about this one because it's got a little curve on the edge there. So they were for class. Well, I know we've we haven't had tangle boards on on the shop for a bit. I don't know actually if they're still on there. But you know, you could do this drawing on any if you you wanted to you've got different flowers I mean this one we did on a tile didn't we the other day and then the others you've sort of seen done before I think flowers in bloom is a good one if you want to learn to do flowers and then uh, we drew it all in pencil and then went over in pen and then of course everybody's got a colour there's at home we, we didn't get loads of time to do that See, I've got this little line going around. So I'm going to fill that with little curves. Like that. So I'm going all the way around. Again, keep it going the same way as the larger curves that we did. And same in there. You see, just keeping it going all around. I'm not counting how many I've got in there doesn't matter if they're all slightly different not a problem just uh, keep it going it's only part of the design so you're not going to see it as the main feature it's going to sort of settle in with the rest of the patterns okay last one there it goes let's have a little look at this okay so I think uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create little stripes with that. Because they're quite small, I can stick with my three. I do have a brush pen with me. It's, uh, I might put some thicker pen in in a short while. But you don't have to. It's entirely up to you whether you want to do this in one colour or lots. It's uh, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to Go in that one there. You see, work my way round into those uh, little bits there. There's no rush. Well, there is. <laughs> we only have a certain amount of time. That's it. You can watch this back as, as many times as you want. And you can stop it and mute me if you like. It's entirely up to you. See, little stripes, it's taking on a different sort of uh, view, isn't it? When you start putting this little bit of ink in, it just changes things a little bit. And it starts to give you some sense of depth and things. There we go, there's those little bits there. There you go. So that's that bit. So, oh, let's have a look. I'm going to come in now to this second row here. And what I want to do with this one is I'm going to split it off. And again, you see these curves, but I'm not splitting them off in the same place. You see, giving them um, a similar shape, but not similar. As I work my way around. So they're not all even, but you've got a similar sort of thing going on, okay? So let's take each one and I'm going to sort of, let's start with it facing me. But not this one, so I'm going to go with this full one here just to get myself going so I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to do a curve from one to the other. A curve from one to the other. See how I can do that one there now. Turn again, curve one to the other. 
I think if you do it and you try and do it without turning it round, it gets a little bit confusing. So each section, I'm drawing this curve. And of course, if you want to, you can do the curve in the opposite direction. It's entirely up to you. All right, it puts me back here, doesn't it? So being that I am, I'm gonna do see the same thing, but I've actually come down a little bit. Let's do that again, here we are. So where I did my curve, I've done another one, but you see there where I've come a little bit further down? Let's do it again. So there's the curve, so that's my space on my section. There's the curve I did first, and I'm gonna do another one. And again, and then another one. So each time, putting that line in. So we're coming back to the point, drawing those in. Okay, there we are. So see this little space here? I'm gonna fill that in, but say this time, I'm gonna use a thicker pen. You can use the 05s if you want, or the 08s. I thought you might want some lubrication early. Oh, thank you, Leslie. I've bought you hot and cold. Oh, two cups of tea and one. Thank you, Les. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Putting that bit in there. I've just been, yeah, boiled off my seat there. The heater's kicked in again. I think every time the door opens, the heater kicks in. Let's put it back up to temperature. It's giving it a slightly different feel, isn't it? So it works its way around. Oh, Janet says hi, Leslie. Hi, Janet. Hi, everyone. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes that brush just fills it in, doesn't it? Makes it a lot quicker, and you don't get any sort of uh, streaks from the, the nib or anything. You can always go back in and neaten it up if you want to. So this bit, see, it's going to have complete let's have a look, coverage, but let's just slide something underneath it. So uh, I'll know when I'm filling that in. It's not going to go on my board. Let's have a look at this. All right, so you see, having those little bits of stripes in there and actually bringing that in as well just makes it look a little bit different. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I like it. So I think whilst um, I've got black in, I'm going to bring these in. Now I've got my brush in. And I'm going to bring in a bit of blackness there. And fill in those stripes that I've got going on. And again, see that black or that negative space is forming a new shape all on its own. in those bits in. So it's a nice uh, calm week here at HQ, I think. We've all got our little bits and pieces we're getting on with. And, uh, so yeah, having, uh, having time to get some stuff done, as always. Of course, so. Uh, Dobby is refusing to take his uh, new scarf and gloves off. Oh, at least we've got his coat off. Told him he can't wear it inside. <laughs> there you go. So, there's that little bit. Let's have a look at that. All right. So, next one then. We've got this one round the outside. So, again, I'm going to come in and I'm going to put these little lines all the way around. And, uh, keeping them slightly curved. Not worrying too much about trying to keep them uniform. They're not, it doesn't matter. So it's quite a large one there. Okay, look at that. Alright. So again, let's have a look from inside here. 
And what I'd like to do now is I'm gonna let's do it with this one first so you can sort of see it. As I'm gonna come in there. You see? So I'm leaving that shape. So I put one up there, look. So on the inside, creating this little sort of line. All the way around. You see it's creating a different shape again. Just sort of following it. And that one there. It's still gonna get that one going in there. Alright. And I want to do the same on the other side. So similar thing here, look. So working it round. Taking off that edge. And just sort of giving it a little shape there. See how that sort of works along that edge there. Okay. So then I'm going to bring my uh, thicker pen in. And I'm going to fill in those gaps there on the inside so I can work my way around so I've not necessarily started at the top it doesn't matter I can work it wherever it needs to and that one so following around each little one. See, I can fill the majority of it in with the pen, but you know, if you feel that you need to, you can go back in and straighten things up with your fine liner. I think these would take a little bit of practice, but once you've got the hang of it, you're fine. Okay, so I'm gonna bring something in again, just to sort of lean on, because yeah, I'm gonna fill these in. Like so, I'm not going to sort of be too neat on the edge there. Let's get that in. Work that one round. And sort of there. See, I want it to get that shape in, so it's uh, quite important. Oh, yeah, so. See, I've gone over the edge, that doesn't matter. Because uh, I think you can grasp by what I'm doing that I am going to fill those that side in anyway so let's do that bit there and then of course let's fill this little bit in here and this one so it's why I'm not really worried about getting rid of all that pencil because there's quite a lot of ink going on this so you're not really going to see it all and that bit there as well There we go, that one's on. So then I'm going to come in and I want to completely fill this space with ink. This is why it's really good to have a brush or well, you know, an alcohol marker or something because it just makes it easier to do and possibly use uh, two layers, I think, just to make it worthwhile and then we can see, sort of fill it in quite nicely of course an alcohol marker will cover it completely anyway so that'll be fine and there, just neaten that edge there see there you are into that one and then same with this side so I come in there look sort that edge out first and then here I've sort of already got a little edge to work to anyway and because I'm, I've got something underneath it I can go straight to the edge I always start with trying to go the same way if I can so it's going to fill very quickly put those in and there. Along there. 
And then I'm going to come around this way and do a, sort of a second layer. You can like dry between each if you want, but I'm going to come in now and do it. Just it removes any sort of. So back to regular pen. And you see where we've got these little lines here? We, we did these um, little curb marks. I'm going to come in again and I'm going to put some little lines in there. Like that. All the way along. So, again not really counting how many or, or anything like that. It's just about putting some lines in. These ones I'm not going to fill in with stripes. I'm not going to fill them with ink. It's a little bit of different texture. We want some sort of shape in there. And of course it helps to sort of differentiate from one side of that shape to the other. Now, of course, you could do all this before filling around the tile with ink. But see now, because I've inked underneath, I've got those lovely colours underneath there. It's worked quite well, hasn't it? All right. So far, so good. So let's come back and have a look at this then. What I'd like to do with this one, just neaten that up, is I'm going to come on in and create the same shape on the inside. So I might as well do that one while I'm at it. Like that. So I'm going to do that on all of them. So you could probably do a few at a time. Like that. And then turn it and then put those lines in. So again, maybe do two or three that way. Come back down, two or three that way, and then do a curve in there, and again, two or three that way, perhaps just two this time, depends how you feel, you can do one at a time if you prefer, let's uh, work our way in, okay, same this side. And along and curve that edge. So we go. Let's have a little look at that. Okay, like that. So I'm going to do another one. Same sort of thing. Repeat that kind of pattern. So again, do a few. Come back down. And then go in and do the curve at the bottom. Along. See, you can do one at a time if you want. They're getting quite fine at this point, but that's okay. You see, they sort of form in their own little shape, aren't they? You think this is pretty much the same as the the other two? Just changing that little bit on the outside has made all the difference. So these ones, pretty much I want to colour in, but these ones, you see, they're a little bit too big, I think, to colour in at the moment. So leaving that one, this one, I think I'm going to make a little bit smaller, see? So it's not, it's not too bad a difference there. And then if I bring my pen back in and add in that black there, Just taking, taking your time because they're quite narrow at that top. Which, you know, having a nice point on your brush works quite nicely. And then, it's different. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to fill this with ink. You can do it a different colour. You could add a little bit more in if you wanted to. Different 
pattern. I'm doing quite a lot of ink today. I've not done one of these in quite a while. So again, I'm just going to bring something underneath it because this one here is going off the page. And of course, I don't want to draw on my board. Okay. So let's get a little bit of shading in on this and see where that's going to take us. So let's put this on my pen and pencil in hand. Let's see what's going to happen. So let's start in the middle where we've got this swirl. So you see we've got this shape we sectioned off. So I can come on in and add some pencil on both sides of that. And then both sides of this one. Both sides of this one. And then around here, look. A little bit there as well. So then this one, I'm going to create two rows. So one on this side. You see I've come in the inside of that. So I'm not going over those stripes. But I am going over everything else. So all the way around that shape. back on the other side and add some pencil in that way as well again it's getting a little bit bigger at the bottom there so I'm gonna do that there let's get the torch on out and uh, Soften this off a little bit. We'll start with this one. Bring it into that. And then this one. You see, just nice and gentle. It's always a little bit different when you've put ink on it, but it's still going to move nicely. And then here, I don't want to move it too far. I'm going to soften it around because if I can, I want to leave a little bit of a gap in the middle. A little bit trickier up at that top edge. I think my torch end could do with a bit of a trim on the edge as well. So look, I've got a pair of scissors here. Let's just see. Look, let's just trim it. Cleans it off at the same time. Oh, where was I? So this one, look, I can switch it around a little bit more and move it in a little bit. Same with this one. You see, just give it a little bit more of a, a push. So I might as well do this side whilst I'm at it. Let's do this bit here as well. Same there. Of course, as you get further up, see there, I can still sort of swirl it a little bit. And don't forget, you can always add more on if you need to. Taking it away, you can rub it out, but you always live a little bit there, don't you? So sometimes adding a couple of layers is better than trying to do it all in one go. See now, I'm not doing as much, just softening the edge up a little bit. Working my way around. So I'm going to come back in with my pencil and I'm going to add some more in at that bottom edge. Okay. Just sort of up to about, but I'm not going to do too much around there. Just on this bit here, we want a little bit more going on. Back in. And this time, since I'm not moving it as much, I want to keep it there really. Same on this side. And there we go. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Now this time, there's, there's a lot of black there, isn't there? So I'm going to come in and add little bits 
on those. I really want to go over all the black. Not for, not for the minute. So just a little gesture there along the way. And then all the way around on this one. So following the shape. going until it gets to the edge there and back in softening those areas you see where you've got a little bit more space you can bring a bit more in but again I don't want to take it across the whole piece I'm going to have a little bit of a highlight in there swirl and then a little bit on those just to give it a hint okay let's have a little look at where we're at so far mm. okay so we're starting to get some depth there but we've still got a little way to go because there's a lot of black on it so the gray looks a little bit lighter this one however because we've changed the shape of it I'm going to add pencil underneath each one. No, we don't want to be doing it edge to edge because that's now disappeared into the, the blackness. Let's go in a little bit closer. So you see, adding some in on each one there. So it looks like a bit of shadow going underneath. So as before, let's soften that up. Again, you're not wanting to sort of push it across everything, just down a little bit. I just want to soften the edge off. It looks a little bit shadow like. Okay, almost there with that. So I'm going to bring my black colouring pencil in. Again, make sure it's got a nice point to it. That's what we want. And let's start where we sort of finished. I'm going to come in here. See, and add in that line. It's sort of almost sort of a statement, isn't it? Saying so we're definitely here. And one's definitely going underneath the other. So that gives it a little bit of definition there. Same here, look. And whilst I'm at it, I'm going to work my way up and around and into that swirl there. Okay. Just to there. So I'm also going to come in on these edges. Now I'm not going to push on too much and I'm just going to put my line in but because the graphite's already there I can merge it in a little bit and uh, just add a little bit of extra kind of depth in there. Alright. Oh, that's uh, similar on this side. Again, so there's quite a lot of space there, so you can bring it out a little bit. So it's being quite light, I'm not going to do too much. Have a bit more on the edge. Same on this one. Just, I think it gives it a little bit of extra. So I'm not going to try and blend it particularly. So I'm going to give it a little bit of shaking on that side there. Okay, now looking at this piece, it's got a little bit pinky and bluey in places. It's sort of purples I think I used. So I'm going to come on in with, um, have a look. What do I want to use? Let's go with, I'm just going to use that, so I'll use this one. I'm going to go in with my mid pink purple here so it gives a bit of everything and it's going to add a touch of colour. 
hollow in those edges. And let's notice having that little bit. This is where we want the focus to start, is within those areas. So, a little bit of colour. That's where it comes in. Makes that difference. Let's pull a little bit underneath and around that edge there. So again, where I put the black, I'm adding a little bit of this colour too. Of course, you know, you pick whatever colour you like or you can just continue with the monochrome. But you see, having that little bit of colour, because I've gone with the same colour as the inks, or you know, found something suitable that works, just gives it a little bit of an edge. See how it's warmed it up compared to this side here. Yeah, so this is sort of more pinky there. That's going to sort of a, a bluey haze, isn't it? That makes a difference. So, last thing we want to do is I want to bring in, now usually, you know, white chalk pencil, but I think on this case, because there's a lot of black there, I'm going to come in with a white pen. Now, when you do this, here we go, it's important you try and go in with a single line, if possible, because we don't want it to be too sketchy, because it's a highlight and we want it to give that appearance. If it was too many lines, it would sort of dull the effect and we don't want that. So try if you can. Straight across everything, single line. You see how that sort of wanders around? If you've got to stop, which of course I am, stop somewhere where it's not going to be as obvious. Oh, and they're not on a black section or anything. Just in those areas. And then in the centre here, just a little bit of See where we've got the lightness? I'm coming in and bringing out a little bit of that. It's got a little bit of a sheen on the top. Okay. So let's have a little look at that. You see it's just got that little line on the top makes a difference. And I think to uh, finish. Now before you make, you do any white or any gel pens on top of a black surface you've coloured, make sure that the black ink is completely dry. Make sure my pen's because otherwise it'll soak in. See there, it needs a little bit of drying still. But in places. Let's go back in. There you are. A few little dots. Don't get too carried away with them, we don't want many. I'm going to go back, I'll finish that one. A bit there you are, it's a bit better. A couple down there. Okay, so there's our sort of uh, intergalactic swirl. Last thing to do, a bit of a signature. Let's put mine there. And there we go, all done for the day. Our latest tile. So have a, have a go at it, see what you come up with. Uh, you might want to uh, paint it maybe or you might want to not put any colour on at all and see where that leads you you don't even have to put the black round but uh, have a little go and see what you come up with so okay I'm going to leave you there and uh, hope you've enjoyed it and I will catch you again at 2 o'clock on Friday for the next one so enjoy everybody and see you soon bye